Hello, in this video, we are going to evaluate this without making use of calculator. So we have solution. We have a to the power of 11. Let me recopy the question. Plus, we have a to the power of 11. Plus, we have a to the power of 11. And plus 8, we have to the power of what? 11. Now, what should we do? Right now, let's consider this identity. If you have a to the power of b plus a to the power of b plus a to the power of b and plus a to the power of b, you can decide to write it as, you can actually bring out one of these, a to the power of b into, then you divide this, a to the power of b by a to the power of b, you're going to have 1 plus, you divide this by this a to the power of b, you're going to have 1 plus, you divide this by a to the power of b, you're going to have 1 plus, and you divide this by the a to the power of b, you're going to have 1. So this simply will give you a to the power of b into 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, you're going to have what? 4. So that is the same identity we are going to apply here. That means we're going to have 8 to the power of 11 plus 8 to the power of 11 plus 8 to the power of 11 plus 8 to the power of 11 is simply equals to we are going to write out this 8 to the power of 11 into then we divide this by 8 to the power of 11 exactly what we did here we're going to have 1 plus 1 plus 1 and plus 1 so let me make a space here so this will give us 8 to the power of 11 into 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is simply what? 4. So that means we are having 8 to the power of 11 times what? 4. So what can we do at this point? This is 8 and this is 4. We can actually make this basis to have a similar base. So we can make them to be identical. That means we can decide to have instead of 8, we can decide to use 2 to the power of 3. And instead of 4, we can decide to use 2 to the power of what? 2. That means this 8 here, we are replacing it with 2 to the power of 3, all to the power of what? 11 times, instead of 4 here, we are having 2 to the power of what? 2. And this is equals to, now, we need to consider this other identity. If you have a to the power of b times a to the power of what? C, you're going to have A to the power of what B plus C. This is one of the identities that we are going to consider later. Now, if you also have this identity, A to the power of B or to the power of C is simply equals to A to the power of B times what C. We simply multiply what the exponent. So we are going to make use of this one right now. So 3 times what 11, we are multiplying these two exponents. So we're going to have 2 to the power of 3 times 11 is 33 times 2 to the power of what 2. Now, this now is in the form of a to the power of b times a to the power of what c, which is equals to a to the power of b plus what c. So that means we're going to have 2 to the power of what 33 plus what 2. And this is equal to 2 to the power of what 30 what 5. So the whole, if you evaluate this, you're going to have 2 to the power of what 35. So that is the final answer. And that is it for this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, share the video to your friends, drop a comment and like the video. Thank you and goodbye.